Right, welcome back guys. Uh, so sticking with Anna 2 in this series of tech tips, we're going to take a look at how to make a really nice lush lead. We're going to kind of replicate that typical uh, sidechain reverb effect, but without actually using any external effects at all. So what this does is it allows you to use a really big reverb, but without actually drowning out the original sound of the lead sound that you're going to be making. You want to keep that attack nice and dry and punchy. So let's dive in. We'll start off from scratch and create this sound as we go. Let's check it out. Right, so like I said, we're going to start off from an initialized patch. So we've got just a saw wave there. Um, we're just going to create a very, very simple sort of super saw sound. We can just bump up our voices to about four or five. There you have it. We could possibly just brighten that up a little bit as well. We'd bring in some, uh, some white noise on the sample oscillator. There we go. Uh, so now all we need to do is we need to add in our reverb. We're just going to do that on an inserter. Um, we're going to grab the plate reverb and let's dial up the wet sound all the way to the top and enable the reverb. So you can see immediately at full wet, we've completely lost the attack of this because we're running everything through the reverb now. Let's just dial in a really nice big reverb. Some modulation going on there, mostly late signal, I think. Okay, so as we dial this back now, you kind of hear the start of the sounds coming back. We really want to kind of increase the contrast between these two. Uh, so the way that we're going to do this is to kind of side chain the reverb to the lead itself. And the way I'm going to do this is just by using an envelope on the dry wet control for the plate. So we can just right click on this one. We'll go up to our mod envelope one. And bring up some of the depth for this envelope. And you can see nothing is happening right now because we are modulating positively. We want to actually bring the reverb down from here. So we just head over to our mod page. We'll flick the rotation into reverse. So it's going to have a negative value as it kicks in. Um, and let's close that down. So the attack is essentially going to be how much of the attack you're going to blur out. So we want that all the way down. That's going to make, there we go. You can hear that reverb's kicking in after the gate is closed. And from here we can play around. This is how close to the end of the sound the reverb's going to come up. So we bring that all the way down. It's pretty much instantaneous. Bring our depth all the way up. So it's pretty much dry until you release and then you have that reverb kicking in. Uh, so we can extend that time a little bit. You can see it's still kind of abrupt the way that it kind of brings it back in. It's almost like an on off switch. Uh, we want to actually kind of increase that sucking sound a little bit. So what we're going to do there is bring up the curve. Uh, so we change the curve positively like that. There we go. That's kind of the sweet spot for me. Let me play around a little bit with the filter as well for this. Kind of works better with open sounds like that though. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Let's play something in and you can kind of hear that reverb getting sucked in and out as we play stuff. There you go, pretty cool sound design trick to kind of uh, back the reverb away from your sounds and then have it come back in afterwards, very much like a side chain. Uh, you can kind of get a little bit more subtle with this as well if you want it to sound a little bit more natural. We can bring that down, the depth down, and just have less of that ducking occurring. And there you have it. 
Cool. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like. And if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Peace.